So today I'm excited to be having this conversation with Exit Momentum founder and head coach Colin Talley and one of Exit Momentum certified business coaches, Derek Keller. Derek's journey begins with take, him taking a job as a car salesman, uh, where he brings the automotive industry a completely new way of doing business. Flash forward and Derek has grown multiple businesses beyond the multiple seven figure revenue mark and working with Exit Momentum as a client. And I wanna hang on that for just a second. He's worked with Exit Momentum as a client. I'm sure that's gonna come up today, but it's an important part of this story. Uh, working with Exit as a client, he was able to grow his most recent venture, a medical testing lab to more than $10 million. He's got a true love for discovering complex problems and breaking them into small, manageable pieces. And having managed multiple teams of more than 500 people across 14 locations and $500 million in annual revenue, Derek understands firsthand the challenges of a rapidly growing business. Last and certainly not least, Derek is a decorated combat, combat veteran with the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, he brings a ton of diversity to the work that he's doing at Exit Momentum. You're going to hear all about that today. Uh, and with that, let's get started. Uh, Colin, I just want to start with you. Talk a little bit about how you got connected with Derek and, and what made you think that Derek would be a good part of this team, because I know you vet these guys a lot. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks, John. Glad to be having this conversation today. It's an important one. Um, so Derek and I met as a, in a group uh, of entrepreneurial like-minded men who were trying to figure out how to manage the complexity of life. We all had had some level of financial success, but we were trying to do more. We were trying to make sure we took care of ourselves physically, spiritually, emotionally, how we showed up as husbands and fathers, how we stay connected to God and the way that we decided to do that. And then well, how we take care of our bodies long-term. We had some of those things figured out, but there was more to do. We felt like we were called to do more. There were some things to work through. And so we met in that circumstance and became really connected as we continue to work on ourselves and learn, learn more about each other. And I was just I was always impressed with the way Derek would just continue to go. There were a lot of men who were in that that expressed a lot of large declarations in terms of what they were gonna do that oftentimes just drifted in and they drifted off and you never really heard from that, them again. And that wasn't Derek. Derek was, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get it done. And if he didn't, he was honest about that and he shared why and what he had learned. So there was just a deep connection there from that standpoint. Fast forward, he decides to uh, partner with some folks inside of the lab, as you mentioned, after having a, an exceptional career in other industries, obviously with the military service and then in the, in the automotive business, which I'm sure we'll get into. Uh, and he and a couple of his partners asked me to come in and help coach them doing what we do. And immediately he stepped into the role of really driving this through the organization. And just with his background, with his discipline, with the way that he thinks and a step-by-step -step process, he drove it through the organization. They were able to grow the organization and eventually exit that as well. And as he was trying to figure out what he was going to do next, obviously he had a lot of experience. He'd go do this on his own. And I said, hey, that's awesome. Here's the things I would look at. If you'd like to think about coming and joining us, here's what that looks like as well. Uh, and I'm here to support you either way. And so we had a number of conversations and made sure it was a fit for both of us because Derek, you know, is a creator on his own. And it's like, hey, well, now I'm part of something. Do I want to create my own thing separate or not? And so we had to get through that and make sure that that was clear for both of us. And we did. And we just launched from there. And he's just been executing, executing, executing along the way. And is truly one of our most successful coaches on the team. So Derek, talk a little bit about that from your perspective. What attracted you to Exit Momentum? Oh man. Um, well, I mean, one, one of the first things was, is, I mean, just the, like, like Colin said, just our, our personal connection, one-on-one -on -one connection that we had had going through some of, some of the hardest things that I've went through personally, Colin was there with me, um, and, and helped me process through them. And then, um, <clears throat> stepping into and, and seeing him step into a, a role under, under probably one of the most uh, craziest entrepreneurs that we either of us have ever ever seen and and brought some sanity to that to that organization and started to bring some structure some organization so it to me when when I was stepping out and and starting this business on my own it it was a no-brainer to bring somebody in like Colin because it, it one of the big things that I wanted to do in this organization was was allow myself to submit to the process and not allow my ego to get in the way. So just like uh, we had kind of brought up in the in the past, the the car business, I had brought a you know 40x and and a level of EOS into um, the car business when I was in the car business. But what what I found was is that I was such the expert in the business that I would only allow so much of it to happen. Um, so going into this business where I knew nothing, it was, it was easier for me to submit, but then it also opened up my eyes a ton to what submitting could do inside of this process, just allowing the process to do what it does and not, 
not allow my ego <laughs> to, to get in the way. And and the cool thing, I guess, one of the other reasons why I chose Colin is because because of our experience together, I, I wasn't going to allow my ego to get into that. Talk a little bit about your about your past experience, the car business um, and the other businesses that you've been in. Um, what are some of the things you've learned along the way? Oh man, uh, well, I mean, probably that probably the very first thing being in the Marine Corps, one, one, one of the very first things that I did coming out of high school, the Marine Corps taught me some of the, the most important lessons that, that have carried me in business today, which I mean, one would be the core values, like the esprit de corps and like the, the way that we operate inside of the Marine Corps, it's a different kind of culture that you just don't see anywhere else. And then, um, <clears throat> so being able to experience that and live that gave me a different different way of seeing and feeling my way through a business. Decision velocity, um, there's nothing like making decision when decisions when bullets are flying. So um, when, when you get into these scenarios inside a business where people feel high pressure to make decisions, I guess I don't feel that pressure because of the pressure that I've been under. So I'm able to make decisions and, and, and process things a, a whole lot quicker. Um, and then adapting and overcoming from the Marine Corps, I, I would say would probably be like the big, another big one that, that, uh, that's helped me inside of business moving forward. Just because, I mean, inside of the Marine Corps, we, we are given the, not the best of the best tools, right? Uh, we're, we're given the leftovers and, and trying to, one of the big things inside of the Marine Corps we, we talk about is being reliant on the man, not the tool. So we, we are the tool, we are the weapon. So we have to, we have to be able to adapt. We have to be able to overcome. We have to be able to adjust on the fly and, and constantly make things happen. So that's, that's why I believe that the Marine Corps is probably the best service out there, but I'm, I'm a little biased, I guess. <laughs> um, as far as the car business goes, man, uh, inside of the car business, I learned some, some of the biggest lessons, uh, about the way that people think and the way that people operate um, as far as a leader, right? And um, how to really start to dive into the facts because so many people in sales are so emotional. You have to, you have to be inside of the facts. Otherwise it just becomes complete chaos and, and you can't manage and, and take people to where they want to go. Um, also uh, probably one of the most volatile places to be uh, because there's there's so much backstabbing, so much people just trying to, to get over on you. So the more you can live inside of the facts and, and, and prove and do the things that you're doing, um, the, the better off you are. So I think I think that's that was a lot of what really helped me inside of the car business uh, moving forward into into other businesses. So, so Colin, talk a little bit about Derek's experience from your perspective. What, what does he bring to Exit Momentum clients? Yeah, I mean, listen, if you're watching this, you can see what kind of man you're dealing with in terms of in integrity. And that's a word that gets used a lot, but this is real here. He lives in those values that literally formed inside around him and the way that he operates as a, as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a coach, all of those things. Um, so there's that uh, second piece to me is listen he wound up in the car business but he did not he did not start in the most glorious spot right uh, last time i checked uh derek you were not ceo when you started correct no salesman yeah so he starts a sales guy right like commission like just go grunt it out in one store and you heard some of the stats earlier in terms of the sheer number of people hundreds of people and hundreds of millions of dollars that he was responsible for so that kind of growth and trajectory you just see things on that path differently in terms of what's required, right? So the, the ability to understand what why process is important because one store is one thing, 17 is another. You know, a dozen employees is one thing, hundreds is another. So process from that standpoint for sure. And then what it means to develop leaders. You can't have that kind of growth and that kind of capacity without developing leaders behind you. And obviously got that from the military, but you can do things inside the military, inside the Marines, inside of wartime, you cannot do in civilian work and stuff like that. So how do you apply these principles that are so ingrained in him inside of a civilian world. He was able to figure that out. But then the other thing to me is he wasn't locked to that, right? He was able to say, hey, I'm an, I'm an entrepreneur by background. I'm gonna change. I wanna go do something else. I'm challenging. And this has caused him to move his family, go to the place and try something completely new. But he had he had the core foundation of how to run and build a business and how to, pe how to get people clear and how to ch have them choose to invest in this greater vision, this greater strategy. Otherwise, the lab doesn't do what it does. 
So to me, the thing you've got is a very principled man who started in a very meager spot, who rose to a very high level with lots of responsibility and lots of risk to manage and lots of personalities to manage in one industry. And then translation of those skills to a completely different industry and success again to a point at which he's done what is required. And to your point earlier, John, he was a client first. And so that's a big deal for us. And, and you know that for sure. And one that we really hang on, especially with Derek and the investment he made as an entrepreneur before he joined us as a coach. So Derek, talk about that a little bit. What do you think your biggest contribution is going to be or has been for Exit Momentum clients? Um, I, I believe that my my biggest contribution is, is uh, I've been there, like like Colin had said, I, I've sat in the seat, so it's real hard for you to come up with excuses or stories. So um, I can I can challenge back inside of these stories and, and push back on you know the fact that hey you know what you think you're too busy or you think this or you think that I. I, I I guess I attribute it back to even even going further back into into Warrior when people would talk about uh, daily deposits and and I had to give seven I have seven kids so seven daily deposits it was it was hard for me to understand how people couldn't do one when I was doing seven right so it was so same thing inside of this business being on the other side of it I'm able to see and experience things in a different way challenge back but also connect on that level of like hey i know what you're going through i know the stress i know the pressure um so like it's easier to connect with the client on, on that level there's so much value in having somebody beside you who's been there and understands it brings empathy and hard truths to those conversations that's uh, absolutely valuable and i i've experienced that here too um uh, colin how does derek make your team stronger yeah, I mean, again, just who he is as a human, his perspective, right? So there's some things that he sees differently in terms of the industries he's been from. Uh, the other thing that I love about his background, quite frankly, if you, and if you were listening closely, you'll notice he has experience in marketing, right? Because you don't run the businesses that he's run, especially in the automotive side and stuff like that, to be able to, to do that. And there's even even other areas where he's, he's had a lot of experience in marketing um, in his own business. Sales, right? So he understands sales at scale, right? Operations, I got to deliver, I got to operate all these people. The lab was heavy, heavy operations. Finance, it has to be successful. There's no way he's had the success he's had financially, able to exit that business without understanding finance. So to me, the thing he brings to the team is a broad understanding. And that's what we're looking for in coaches. And you know, you've obviously, John, been with me when I've gone on the rant on bad coaches. When you think about Derek, you're like, here's a guy that does what he says he's going to do and has real world experience. And so to me, it pushes us as a group and he challenges the team. We just did our annual last week. We do our own, our own annuals as well. And he was pushing us, pushing me, challenging our thinking. And so in a way that's productive, right? Not not, not in a way that's that's uh, problematic or, or or too difficult stuff like that. He's just asking, is that true? Is that really what you want? Where do you want to go? Are you do, or do you have a bias? Are you seeing things through tunnel vision? He just ask really good questions, and so I think that's one of the things that he does. So you know, to that point, as I'm talking and thinking through this. Derek is obviously a great teacher and leader, but he's also a really good listener. And so in that you wind up, which, which, which is a critical skill in this work that we do. So Derek, talk a little bit about life outside of work. Like what drives you outside of exit momentum? Oh man, uh, challenges, right? Uh, I, I guess when I'm not challenging myself at work, I'm, de I'm definitely challenging myself in my personal life. I mean, you, you heard I've got seven kids, so that, that definitely, <laughs> is a challenge at, at, at every turn. I've got two grandkids that just came. Um, so that's, that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy that. Um, but really, really going out and challenging myself as far as um, different experiences like this summer, I'll be doing the Catarin Yomp over in Scotland. So it's 55 miles over in the mountains of Scotland to, to raise money for veterans. So I mean, it's, it's always something along them lines, something, something to push something to, to to challenge me and that um, I guess I'm just not very good at, at sitting around and resting. Colin, what's what's on the list that we haven't talked about yet? What have we not hit on uh, in regards to Derek that you'd want people to know? Yeah, I think this is important because he can do it in a way that other people can't. You know, lots of people love and care about our U.S. military here in um, in the U.S. for sure, uh, and certainly Derek's got to focus on the Marine Corps. He's been he's been asked to lead an organization that's specifically focused on helping Marine Corps vets build businesses. So one of the things that I want people to know is that he has a heart for that and he has things that he does specifically for that. So it's important to me that one, we support him in that and that he is, that that, that is known because I think there's a critical driver of value for people that 
when a man or woman can't provide for themselves or is not clear how to step forward in some ways. And we know so many of the veterans have had challenges, which obviously he can speak to in terms of coming back. And so the fact that he's doing something very tactical in terms of helping them translate those things into ways in which they can build and create value for their families and kind of unlock some of the, uh, the skills they learned in the military that aren't really as deployable or it's hard to translate sometimes. How do I use what I learned and something I felt so connected to? How do I turn that into you know, my landscaping business or my construction business or whatever, or my software business or whatever thing that they decide to do. So I think it's it's incredibly important people know that there's this giving side of him. So he mentions his background, but there's a, there's a lot of focus there and that's gonna continue to be a focus for him and, and us supporting him in that as well. Every time we do one of these conversations with one of the uh, the exit momentum coaches, it becomes very clear how they got on the team. Um, what you shared, Colin, what you've talked about, Derek, uh, they both point to why, why Derek is an amazing coach and why he's here. Um, and so if you're looking for a coach, Derek is a fantastic option. I appreciate both of you guys taking the time to, to walk through this today, to do this introduction. Um, and I'm excited to see uh, what you do for clients, Derek. Okay, thank you. Awesome, you guys. Thank you.